The people of the future will watch this lost episode and remember a time when people named Bob and David wore crazy outfits and brought us all to the verge of laughter. That's right. And sometimes they made us all think. And that's when the ratings took a nosedive. So if you want to remember the comedy of the 90s tomorrow, today, just call Candy Adams at Entertainment for Every One Production. So there you have it, Bob and David. They're available for weddings, parties, get-togethers, gang-ups, bat mitzvahs, whatever. They're very funny, but be warned, they are satirical. But don't worry, we have a lot of acts that don't use the F. Acts like Choo Choo, the Herky Jerky Dancer. Champion, the Drinker. Peanut Butter, the Dressed Up Dog. And guess what? We have ventriloquists too, like uh, Wally P. Doyle. Tell him, Pedro. <clears throat> Entertainment for everyone has the best in entertainers. What for who? For you, you big dummy! That was the last recorded performance of the ventriloquist Wally P. Doyle, brutally gunned down outside of a supper club in Utica, New York. Fans of Doyle and his piney pal Pete blame the puppeteer's East Coast rivals. We know who took Wally and Pete out, and they will pay. They will pay. It's a chilling echo of the deadly feud that has consumed the world of rap music. The West Coast is the bitter of the two coasts. We don't like the East Coast. The Doyle murder was a retaliation for the murder of West Coast ventriloquist Vince Daytona and his wooden buddy Fitzpatrick, gunned down in mid-act during a six-year-old's birthday party. Despite, or possibly because of, this shocking behavior, ventriloquism has infiltrated the youth culture, and sales of ventriloquism CDs are at an all-time high. As of 1997, this has become a $16,000 a year industry and a hot topic in the media. Rap artists, ventriloquists, blood has been shed, lives have been lost. Mr. Spencer, killer be killed, Dingle, Professor Murder, Pickles, Mr. Barnett. What is it going to take to put an end to all this? What the fuck you like a bitch, Dingle? Oh. After oh, yeah. this, I'm taking oh, a my head, it's just a rat. Will you stop, stop it? it. This is stop it. It. Come on, guys, gentlemen. Puppets, gentlemen. I'm sorry. Control your puppets, I'm please. So sorry. Killer be killed. What is it going to take for people like you and Dingle to get along with the East Coast? Look, I don't know, man. I mean, these guys got their fucking talking dolls and shit. Mm -hmm. Questions, uh, Professor Pickles? What? I ain't no Professor Pickles. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't mess with the East Coast. Look, I don't need you defending me, you howdy doody looking motherfucker. I'm out of here, yo. Yeah, I'm with him. Man, step off. <laughs> But there is hope. In the wake of these senseless deaths, Wally P. Doyle's widow is calling for peace among the puppeteers. Oh, you men. A nationwide peace conference being held at the Moto Court Lodge in Indianapolis now enters its second month. We are absolutely committed to peace. Yeah, this has been too hard. We've lost too many friends now. We're staying here until this feud is resolved. So what is the current status of the talks? I don't know. I mean, it's not up to us. It never was. You know, it's the little guys. You know, they're the ones that got to work this thing out. All we've ever wanted to do is entertain the nice people. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So far, after 36 days, no progress has been made. And with the ventriloquism industry shut down, people are forced to find other sources of entertainment. You know, at first, when the ventriloquism stopped, I didn't know what I'd do. But now, I'm watching a lot more TV. Yes, life without ventriloquism isn't so bad after all. I have more time to play with my kids. People are camping. Helping the elderly. And reading. 